Um, so, uh, and, and, and a quick intro, I won't talk too long. That's a problem of mine. Um, we, you know, a year ago, I, I asked the guys, you know, what do you think all our competitors are doing? They're, they're hiding in the basement, they're collecting shotgun shells, they're laying people off, they're worried about the end of the world. Um, I have a belief that Western civilization isn't going to come to an end. I have a belief that we all want to live our lives. We may save some money every once in a while, but at the end of the day, the purpose of life is living. And building a car and having friends and enjoying fellowship with this, this shared passion is something that I know is not going to go away. And so I said, let's invest. So let's put money that we don't have into a design. And I have a lot of ego connected to this car. I mean, a ton of ego. This is the car that started our company. And so I said, let's make changes that will take this car from the best-selling roadster to the best roadster. And so Jim uh, and Jesper here, Jesper is Director of Engineering, uh, Jim's Director of R&D. They really were the brainchild behind the changes. So if there's any changes you don't like, you need to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> All the changes you like, I'm happy to take questions on. So why don't you guys pull it off, show them the Mark IV, and uh, here it is, guys. So. Very good. Thank you. Uh, I think we have some food coming in. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions. Um, I think we're here from 9 to 12. Uh, I will pass along a couple things. Uh, over in the corner there is, is Ford's new Coyote motor, the new 5 liter. And uh, Kershaw sent us that motor ahead of Hot Rod Magazine, ahead of RTM Productions, which is doing a, a video broadcast with him. Uh, ahead of just about everybody else. So it's a real compliment that we have the motor here that you guys can see. It's 400 plus horsepower. It's basically the new 5 liter. It's, it's the 4.6 the engine architecture brought to the next level. It's the 2011 Mustang engine, essentially. So that's in the corner. And you'll notice there is no valve covers or intake cover on it. It is right from the factory. There's an R&D hole stamp on it. So we got one of the very first ones. It's kind of cool. And that engine is going to go in this car for Ford and uh, for the Autorama. So that's going to be a trick because we have a couple, three weeks to do that. So uh, yeah, but thank you for coming and welcome. Get some food and stuff like that. If you guys have any questions, I'll be happy to answer any questions. You know, body work is one of the number one questions. You go to the body shop. And with a black gel coat, from a manufacturing standpoint, black's great because you can see air bubbles, you know, when you, you lay it up. And, and, and when you're sanding it, you can see flaws, but it looks like crap. And it's a great body, but it looks bad. So you go to body shop and they're like, yeah, that's 10 grand. So we wanted to do two things. One is reduce the body work. Our body shop, Carl's Collision Center, I don't know if Carl's here today with his guys. Uh, agent who painted it, he said he spent half the time that he normally spends on the body. So cut the body work in half. Those are all new molds and tools. So you'll notice that it's not just red gel coat, but the molds that made them, the shapes are a little tighter, the seams are a little tighter. But also, the red gel coat, it's prettier. So you go to a body shop, and now the car looks prettier, so you'll get a better quote. Um, <laughs> really, I mean, we did a lot of, a lot of questionnaire with customers, and, and going to a body shop and getting tagged for 10 grand is one of the biggest problems right now. So that's, that's the reason behind the red gel coat. And also from the racers. You need to paint that car, but if you're racing, you can knock down those seams, you can buff it up, you can spray gel coat on it, and you go put stickers on it and race. So guys in the Challenge Series, now they don't have to pay for a paint job, they can get away with it without it.